everyone. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. I am talking about stealing today. Women have been stealing from men and I kind of like it. What I want to talk about today is something that's really popular on YouTube lately and for the last handful of months. It's the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm, which is just really a fancy way of saying aftershave. Um, anyway, specifically designed for men. Women everywhere have been using it, talking about it, wondering about it, and using it. And I was one of those. I followed the crowd, basically. <laughs> and I am one of those who picked up a bottle of this myself. And so if you're interested in finding my review and comments on how it is that this has made it into my makeup drawer, then just keep watching. So the Nivea Post Shave Balm idea, which I think for the rest of this video I'm just going to call Aftershave, um, actually came from Nikki Tutorials. I will link her YouTube channel down below. Definitely check her out if you do not know who she is. She is ridiculously talented. She is hilarious. I love watching her. I love listening to her. Back in one of her favorites videos, she mentioned how she had run out of primer and so she grabbed her guys. I think it's her boyfriend. Anyway, she grabbed her guy's aftershave. And the reason for that is because this Nivea aftershave has glycerin in it. And glycerin is a major component in all of our primers, I think. How about this? Most, if not all, primers have some level of glycerin in them. And so in a pinch, she's like, hey, let me start using that. And she was really surprised and happy that it worked and reported it in one of her favorites. So the rest of us are all like, what? Oh my God, that's for the boys. And so I followed the crowd and I wanted to know what everybody was talking about. And so I got myself a bottle, which was really easy to find at your drugstore. Super cheap. This huge entire bottle was like, five dollars six dollars something like that and it's major there's a lot in here it's like 3.3 ounces i've been using it now for the last couple of weeks and actually i'm going to jump the gun a little bit and say that i've been using it for the last couple of weeks because i kind of can't put it down i kind of think this primer is like my new bff but before i go into all the reasons that i like it let me just make a couple of comments on the things that i don't first of all it has it's a typical guy smell. I mean, clearly it's not gonna smell like roses, it's not gonna smell like flowers, it smells like guy stuff. Like, you know what I'm talking about, right? That generic, that generic odor that just smells like typical guy. Um, I've actually got the sensitive skin formula, which in theory will have less of a scent than the regular aftershave would, um, because you know, fragrances are one of those things that our skin gets very sensitive to. And so when they design it for sensitive skin, they typically cut back on the fragrance. This guy still has the guy scent fragrance, but I will say this, you don't smell it. You certainly don't smell it after you apply it. You kind of do smell it while you apply it. I always have baby wipes handy when I'm applying my makeup. And so I apply the aftershave and I immediately just wipe my hands off and it immediately eliminates the odor and the fragrance and I'm just good to go. But there is a smell and you open it and you're like, yeah, that's guy. And But you know what? You get used to it. But some people may not really enjoy the scent and I kind of say at that point, just suck it up and move on because it will disappear and it will be fabulous anyway. The other thing I'm not, well, it's not that I don't like but it's just, it takes some getting used to as well. It's very watery. It's a very thin, um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna demonstrate to you like this, but um, picture, if I had a cup here, I could like literally pour this out. It literally kind of pours like water. Oh, there's the scent. It's very mild, but it just doesn't smell like what you would expect one of your beauty products on your table to smell like. Anyway, so it is a little bit watery, whereas I'm, I'm used to primers being, you know, you could literally put a primer on your finger and flip it upside down, the primer's not gonna go anywhere. This might, in fact, drip off just because it is watery in consistency, so it takes some getting used to, but as I'm about to explain in a minute, it's actually something that I really enjoy about this as a primer as well. So it's kind of twofold. It's like the good and the bad. Good cop, bad cop, that whole thing. So what do I love? I love how smoothly this applies. Like I was just saying, it's a little bit watery in consistency, but it just glides onto your skin. You have to use no force. 
on your skin. You barely have to press, which I think is a good thing. I mean, the more the more you apply something, you know, the more you're rubbing into your skin. I mean, I don't know, that can't be a good thing. So this just glides right on and it spreads so evenly, so thinly so that you don't wind up applying too much in any area because it really spreads out so wonderfully. It very much glides without being slimy. Like I hate some of the primers that you apply it and you just feel like you've got this sheen of like an oil slick on your face. I don't know, that looked like I was making a mustache. But this just applies so thinly, evenly, smoothly, and you get it on in like two seconds. The other thing that's really cool about when you're applying it is it kind of lets you know you don't need to rub me in anymore because it applies so smoothly and then develops this ever so slight level of tackiness. And that's you're like, that's it, I'm done. Stick a fork in me, I'm done because now I've got this tackiness. You don't need to move me around anymore. You have set me up to perfection. I am ready for you to apply your foundation. And so that tackiness winds up being an awesome foundation canvas um, for you to actually then go ahead and apply your foundation. So I love the application of it, really smooth and silky without being slimy. And then I love the end result of it when it starts to feel just a little bit tacky. I know I'm done and I know it's ready to receive my foundation. So bam, bam. So one of the main reasons I wanted to give this a try is because as I've said before a number of times, I think I've got somewhat trouble problematic skin. I've got oily skin, I break out. Two of the main things you don't ever want to piss off or aggravate with any of the beauty products you use. So I thought, <laughs> I'm gonna give this a try and it's gonna piss my skin off and uh, I'm going to be one of the few that says, oh no, no, not for me. I don't need to borrow the men's aftershave. It's not for me. I was wrong and I'm stunned that I was wrong. I did not break out from this aftershave, which I was totally expecting and I didn't. So it did not make me break out somehow it wound up mattifying me in areas where I wanted to be mattified. It wound up giving me moisture in other areas where I wanted to receive some moisture like around my nose and around my mouth, which always is much drier for me around my face. It's as if the aftershave has a brain. It knows where your trouble spots are and where your dry spots and where your oily spots are and it just knows and it says we're gonna do one kind of job right here and we're gonna do another entirely completely opposite sort of job right here it's as if it has a brain it's like an intelligent aftershave and I'm really pissed off that the men have been hoarding this and hiding it and keeping it from us okay so here it comes the most daring statement that I am going to make about this aftershave is that I actually think it's clearing my skin up. I'm not sure how that's possible. I don't, I don't know what about it makes it so magically wonderful. I don't know if it has to do with the fact that because it's applying so thinly, I also have to apply less pressure to my face. You know, I'm more just kind of it's almost like you just wind up moving it around and it just goes right into pl I need to stop doing this. This is getting out of control. It's almost like I have to not touch my face as hard or as much because it absorbs and settles into my skin so quickly and so easily on top of it being such a thin layer. So maybe that in combination is just making my skin ridiculously happy and not pissing it off. Or maybe all this time, it's just been magic in a bottle. I don't even, I'm not asking any questions. I'm not questioning it. I'm just going to accept it. I'm not going to give it any reason to change how it's working for me because it is wonderful. I have been, like I said before, I have been using it for the last couple of weeks. The reason for that is because I haven't been compelled to pick up any of my other former primers. I really just want to reach for this. It's a pleasure to put on and I'm seeing really good effects after the fact. And so why would I wanna change that? And that for me is probably the most compelling reason to recommend it and to keep using it myself. My gut is just telling me it's just working really, really good. And I completely doubted it and I'm completely surprised. And that just makes me wanna try more things that I don't have any faith in because who really knows at the end of the day, it might totally wind up working for you. So. Go raid the small, you know, you go to the drugstore, the, the, the women's section is like aisles long and multiple aisles, and you go to the men's section, it's like this big. 
<laughs> so it shouldn't be hard to find. Just find the men's collection of stuff and buried in there is going to be the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm Sensitive Skin Formula. So have you tried it? Please comment below if you have. What has been your experience? Or what's your Holy Grail primer that you totally enjoy using? Because I would love to know that too. So if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber and would like to know when I put up more stuff, then please subscribe and I would totally appreciate it. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope you have a really good rest of the day and I do look forward to seeing you in my next video. In the meantime, thanks. Perpetual fear of lipstick on my teeth. And like when lipstick creeps out from the corners of your mouth. Oh my god, that is so gross. Super pet peeve of mine. So, of course, I am perpetually looking for it on myself. Which is really why I'm always looking in the mirror at myself. It's not because I think I'm fabulous. It's because I'm looking for the mess up. I'm looking for the disintegration of the artwork that I put together earlier that day. I'm looking to correct what is now melting off my face. And if you aren't one of my subscribers already, I would totally be honored if you would be a subscriber and join the rest of my... I have no idea. I don't have a name for the people yet. I should come up with a name. Like a team name. You know, we need to call ourselves something. I have no idea. Hello! Okay, no. <laughs>